Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm very happy to be here today to share some uh, basic knowledge about uh, something called Alibaba. Uh, today's sharing will be divided into three parts. First, I will uh, intro briefly introduce something called Alibaba and uh, its rated background knowledge. And the second part, I will explain why Spring called Alibaba should be a potential choice for your micro services. And the last part, I will uh, share more details about the projects of Spring Cloud Alibaba. Okay, let's go to the first part. Uh, to introduce the Spring Cloud Alibaba, I think uh, it's important to understand the a uh, concept of microservices. So at first we have a monolithic architecture which runs uh, all functions in a single process and uh, it is suitable uh, if the application scale is small because it's easy to maintain and upgrade uh, for a single process. But as the traffic as the traffic scale keep increasing, keep growing, then it may be uh, impossible to uh, handle all traffic in one single node. So here comes the distributed architecture. So distributed architecture would divide the single process into multiple uh, processes and each process will just serve the same functions. And the load balance Load balance strategy will be used to distribute the traffic between different processes. Uh, but uh, uh, in distributed architecture, uh, every process still share the same code. So as the application become more and more complex, it's, it's uh, even, more even, even more difficult to maintain uh, all functions in one application uh, because uh, there are so many functions that every single line code change would uh, impact other modules and a small bug in one module may cause the whole process down and then all functions are unavailable. Uh, so that's why microservice uh, is introduced so microservice uh, was introduced in uh, 2012 and it recommends that we should uh, uh, divide the process into different roles and each row of process should already handle a particular kind of functions. And between each uh, different roles of processes, we should use RPC uh, communication to exchange the data. Uh, microservice solves the problem that one single application complexity is is very high, but it also brings new problems. First is that it may uh, bring new issues because the uh, RPC invocation count is increasing, so there will be more issues caused by network uncertainty, and. Uh, also, uh, because the invocation, invocation chain become longer, so it would be more difficult to track an error. And the second, uh, second problem is that uh, in microservices, uh, every, every application would have some common requirements, such as uh, every application would uh, need to handle network packages, and uh, the application uh, would also need to uh, do service discovery to find other application applications. So here comes the uh, Spring Cloud. Uh, Spring Cloud is a microservice solution based on Spring Boot uh, to help developers uh, build the common patterns of the microservices systems. So, micro, so uh, Spring Cloud has provided many patterns and also the uh, libraries 
to uh, fulfill the user's common requirements in microservices, and uh, it's also uh, enabled uh, users to override the default implementation. And uh, it's become very popular, as we can see that many world-class companies uh, have their own implementations. Uh, so that's uh, uh, how Spring Cloud Alibaba comes. So Spring Cloud Alibaba was originated uh, from Alibaba with decades of development and iteration in the areas of uh, like service discovery, configuration, management, uh, distributed messaging, and high availability, and so on. Uh, currently, for open source, it, it has uh, four key components. Uh, first is uh, Narcos. Uh, Narcos is a dynamic service discovery and uh, configuration management platform, and it is designed to be easy to use and cloud native. And the second one is the Certainer. Certainer is a comprehensive traffic control system that can protect the stability of services from multiple dimensions. And the third one is the CETA. CETA is a high-performance high microservice distributed uh, transaction solution. And uh, the first one is Rocket MQ. Rocket MQ is a distributed uh, messaging system uh, that provides low latency and uh, highly reliable uh, subscribe and publish uh, services. Uh, I will share more details about these four companies in subsequent sections. Okay, so here is uh, the key features of Spring Cloud Alibaba. The uh, first one, uh, it's, uh, it follows the, the standard pattern of Spring Cloud, so you can expect the same experience uh, when migrating from other implementation to Spring Cloud Alibaba. Uh, the same annotation or the same method always produce the same outcomes. And the second key feature is that Spring Cloud Alibaba has either uh, enhanced or extended the features proposed by Spring Cloud. So uh, starting from the very basic uh, uh, RPC service registry to outside uh, supporting uh, features, uh, Spring Cloud Alibaba has, uh, has complete support for these features either with uh, open source projects or the cloud products. Okay, uh, here comes to the second part, uh, how Spring Cloud Alibaba outstands. Uh, first factor is that uh, Spring, Cloud Alibaba, Spring Cloud Alibaba has been verified uh, by the internal uh, systems inside Alibaba. So inside Alibaba, there is actually a very huge, very huge level scale uh, data, uh, such as uh, uh, 10 million services, uh, 1 billion configurations, and 10 billion transactions. And they are all supported by something called Alibaba projects with very high SLA. And uh, the thing is that uh, actually the code used inside Alibaba and uh, uh, in the, and the, the in, in the GitHub are from the same source, so uh, so you can ex expect uh, the same ex same experience when using the the code in GitHub. A second factor is that uh, Stream Cloud Alibaba has a more complete features compared to other uh, Spring Cloud implementations. Uh, such uh, Spring Cloud Alibaba has more features compared to uh, Spring Cloud Zookeeper, Spring Cloud Console, or Spring Cloud Kubernetes. And compared to Spring Cloud Netflix, uh, Spring Cloud Alibaba had important support for distributed messages 
and the distribute, uh, distributed transactions. So using something called Alibaba, actually most of your requirements uh, in microservices can be, uh, can be fulfilled. Okay, the third factor is that actually something called Alibaba and all its uh, projects are being actively maintained at, and updated in GitHub. You can see from the start or the watching of the forks that uh, all these projects are drawing great attention from community, community users and then many, uh, actually many com company level users are using something called Alibaba uh, inside the, uh, their uh, production environment. And uh, for the maintainer, actually, uh, they are just they are they are just not not Alibaba's developer to uh, maintain these projects. There are many contributors from outside, from community, uh, that are contributing their talents to these projects. And uh, most of the the, pro the projects are being uh, actively updated uh, to meet the uh, users' requirements. Okay, uh, the first factor is that actually something called Alibaba has, ver has very close connection to multiple cloud vendors. So actually you may only need a few steps with very small changes to migrate your microservices uh, from open source to those cloud vendors. And on cloud, uh, there, are, there are some senior, uh, senior, senior features and with more secure privacy. And the cloud can also help you to manage the machine resource. So sometimes it's recommended to uh, use microservices on cloud other than uh, using uh, open source. Uh, okay, that's the second part. Uh, here comes the third part. I will share more details about uh, the projects of something called Alibaba. Uh, due to time limitation, I won't give uh, uh, many details, but I will summarize the key differences between something called projects, Alibaba projects, uh, and other, other imp implementations. Uh, first is the service registry and the configuration management. Uh, these two functions are very basic functions in uh, micro in micro services, and it may looks it may look straightforward or simple to implement such functions. But as the data scale keep increasing and and uh, increasing, then the, the problem may be tough to solve. Uh, so uh, here is the the the, the, the uh, architecture of Narcos. So actually, uh, Narcos is is a uh, is a uh, integrative platform that uh, provides uh, multiple functions with a unified Nux core. So in, in so in Nux core uh, we have some uh, we have the common functions uh, in the in the core such as the uh, consistency layer, the storage layer, the notification layer, and on top of that is the config service and the naming service, which serves different functions. And the Nagos actually doesn't need any outside dependency components to run. So you can run Nagos with a single command. So it's very easy to maintain. And also Nagos provide, provide many a provider friendly uh, web console to operate and uh, query the service and all configurations. Oh, second one, second one is the uh, traffic protection. Actually in microservices, uh, it's very critical for the service to protect itself from abnormal traffic as a incoming or outgoing. Uh, there, are, there are actually many aspects of uh, traffic control. 
but uh, uh, certainly is a one-stop solution that can cover most of the uh, problems. And based on its innovative algorithms, it can uh, significantly improve the uh, performance and the stability and the efficiency of, of, the, of the traffic control. And uh, at the meantime, uh, the, the impact on the request latency uh, is is reduced maximum maximally. Okay, uh, this is the distributed uh, message. In microservices system, uh, actually messaging is a very common requirement. Uh, there are there are actually uh, two major requirements. First is that the upstream uh, service don't want to couple with the uh, downstream service. The downstream service may have high latency, may be, may be, may be crashed. And the upstream service wants to just send the message and the return and the, and the, and the continue its own work. And the second uh, scenario is that uh, the process speed of the downstream service may cannot, may be not able to meet the requirements. So it's, it's, uh, it's beneficial to uh, send the message to a buffer first and then the upstream, uh, the downstream service can uh, consume the, the, the messages at a lower speed. And the ROX MQ is, is uh, also a combination originated uh, from Alibaba Middleware team and it's uh, it was uh, donated to Apache uh, Foundation and then graduated from this foundation success successfully. And uh, we can see there are actually uh, four components of Rocket MQ. So producer producer will send will send the message to the broker, and the consumer will uh, using a round pooling technology to to subscribe the message from broker and the broker is a, is a core part of the Rocket MQ which stores uh, the messages and provide a high performance and uh, uh, data high, high availability and the name server is the co-op co -op corporate node that would store uh, metadata and also uh, conduct the service discovery to make sure the producer and the consumer can find the broker. Okay, the last last component is, component is uh, uh, distributed transactions. Uh, uh, so in Supreme Court Alibaba, uh, CETA is introduced to, uh, to, to handle the distributed transaction. And actually, uh, there are actually not many solutions of tra distributed transactions. And CETA is one that can complete this task and with multiple mode, mode support. And uh, CETA, uh, can monitor the progress of the disputed contribution uh, transaction and make sure every 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 uh, every step was is exacted correctly. Okay, that's all my sharing. Thanks. <laughs>